and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. If you read uh, articles in the Stack B recently, it's got to do with my filing on 722.22 with all the exhibits. And Artur, Arturo Pacheco guilty pleas. You now have real context and substance of why CSP SAC IGI unit is completely tainted and corrupt up to the warden himself. Read it yourself and see the article of Pacheco and Allrich and my filing and now you will see why I'm tripping. These dirt bags fucking set up a bogus 115 on me and are so scared to hold the hearing. They are now 40, 48 days in and 18 days past their own time limit, which is 30. They had 30 days to have my hearing for the due process, uh, my due process rights, and they're 18 days late. They are scared to have the hearing because they know what's going to come out. So I am being punished. I'm being sentenced. I've done a shoe turn for 18 months. I was tortured in PSU illegally. I'm not mental health, never have been. All for a 115 that was falsified. They know it was falsified. There was never, I've never had a hearing on it. So it's like a being sentenced without a verdict or a jury trial, period. See the Pacheco article. See all the articles of Pacheco and Ulrich. Also, as you all well know, recently, we had some problems with our oxygen coming into our cells. Well, I filed one 602 that was uh, granted, and uh, some bullshit reason was given that they're working on it, and, and they fudged the dates. And then I filed another 602, and another bullshit reason was given that contradict the first fucking bullshit reason. And now when I go to the courts, I'm going to go ahead and show the judge how this warden is lying and covering everything up. It's the warden down that is corrupt here. He, he tried to say that they put portable ACs on a tier that has nothing to do with the inside of my box. Imagine a big box with a little shoe box on the inside. And I live in that little shoe box on the inside, and you put a little portable AC on the outside of the big box. It has zero air to air on the inside of that little shoe box. But yet, he lied. Because the videos they now put in the building will show there was never, ever no portable AC on my tier. And when we ask for it, ask the judge to give us these videos, we're going to go ahead and expose this warden as being a corrupt liar he is. And for the OIG, I challenge you to check it out yourself. See my 602 and the warden's lies. You have the power to check it out and look at the videos, confirming there was never portable AC on my tier. The videos show it all if you don't believe me. You guys are saying, you guys are acting like policy is practice in reality. It is not, I assure you. They manufacture slander and lies, and they won't stop. Do your homework, I do. Take care.